Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Mac Murdoch here with OPT and today we're going to be diving into the third part of this series, Accessories for Galaxy Season. Like I mentioned in part one over going over telescopes for galaxy season, which you can check out in the description below, the four major components of astrophotography are a mount, telescope, camera, and smashing the like button. While accessories are not one of the major components, the point of an accessory is to make your life easier and more enjoyable under the stars or improve the quality of your image. These top 10 accessories will definitely help. Stay to the end for some honorable mentions and we got a big surprise for you. But first, we're gonna do a really quick poll. The first question is, do you do astrophotography? If the answer is yes, then go ahead right now and click the like button. Our second question is, do you enjoy astronomy or the knowledge of space? If so, go ahead and click the like button. Okay, third and final question. Do you feel that these videos could use more dragons? If so, click the like button and subscribe. These questions really help us understand what you guys want. All right, let's dive right on in. So the first one on our list is the QHY Pole Master. During galaxy season, you're probably gonna be using a really long focal length which makes polar alignment, balance, and guiding super important. Polar aligning is one of the most important steps out of the three, and you need to nail it down to get a good image. A pole master will help you perfectly polar align in under five minutes. It takes away from all the guessing and makes it super simple. In fact, we made a full step-by-step -step tutorial that you can check out right here. Save yourself some time and stress and improve your tracking accuracy. You can't go wrong with the Pole Master. Next, we have the Prima Lucha Eagle. This is seriously the one-stop shop as far as a computer, power, dew heater, and being able to control your whole rig goes. The Prima Lucha Eagle is basically a full computer that you can mount to the top of your telescope that powers your whole rig and all the extra accessories you have attached. You can load in your favorite programs like Astrophotography Tool, SGP, Prism, Nina, and anything else that you have to do to do your imaging. And then you broadcast it to your phone, tablet, or computer using its built-in Wi-Fi. This means you can control your whole rig wirelessly from the comfort of your own home. Next, we have a very similar tool on a smaller scale. This is the ZWO ASI Air. The ASI Air also powers and controls your gear and then broadcasts that signal to your phone or tablet. It's super small and lightweight, but it packs a punch as far as convenience. Not only can it control your mount, telescope, focus, guiding, but it can also help you polar align. Something that you do have to know though is the ASI Air at the time of this video is only compatible with ZWO products. So you're gonna need a ZWO camera, filter wheel, or focuser, but it will work on any mount. At number four, we have one of the most important upgrade paths in astrophotography, which becomes incredibly helpful during galaxy season, a guide scope and a guide camera. We will elaborate more on guiding in another video, but the easy explanation is, it's a separate guide camera and guide scope that watches a star and tells your mount to correct itself if it's beginning to drift. For longer focal lengths, like a thousand millimeters or more, I would personally recommend using an off-axis guider by either QHY or ZWO, or you can use a large guide scope. And if you're using under a thousand millimeters, Pick yourself up this TPO ultra wide, which can double as both an amazing wide field telescope or be a perfect guide scope. Pair it with a guide camera like the ASI 120mm or the 290 and you're ready to rock. Next at number five, probably the most essential out of all accessories, smashing the like button. Without smashing that poor little thumbs up button, the chance of getting a good image is pretty much slim to none. By making sure that like button turns blue, you increase your chances of winning an A-pod by tenfold. Next, we have something that's almost just as important as hitting the like button depending on where you live, light pollution filters. Light pollution filters like the Optolong L-Pro or the CLS filters are great and will keep light pollution at bay. It won't fix the problem, but it will help reduce the problem. A lot of them will screw into your image train or you can get yourself a filter wheel. Since this is galaxy season, a common question that we get asked is what's the difference between an L-Pro, L-Enhance, and L-Extreme? 
We'll make a full video on that in the future, so make sure you're subscribed. But for this video, the thing that you need to know is that the L Pro is the best for galaxies, and the L Enhance and L Extreme aren't bad either, but you're also cutting out a lot of the light spectrum that you actually want. Those two are best for emission nebulas. A problem that a lot of beginner astrophotographers deal with is finding your objects. You're essentially looking for something that you can't see in the blackness of space. Something like a Telrad or a red dot finder can help you find exactly where your telescope is pointing. This makes it so much easier when slewing to a star or target to know that you are on that star or target. At number eight, we have a Batnov mask. These are pretty easy to use and will help by taking away the guessing on where your focus is. It's simple. You place the mask in front of your lens and your stars will turn into diffraction spikes. Just make sure that the middle spike is in the center of the crisscross spikes. And holy moly, artichokey, you are in perfect focus. Speaking of focus, that brings us to our next accessory, the electronic focuser. This is the easiest and most accurate way to make sure that you have the perfect focus all night. Focusers like the Radian Focuser, the ZWO EAF, the Prima Luce Sesto Senso, or the Pegasus Focus Cube can all be controlled through your imaging software and set to refocus throughout your night. For example, when your temperature changes, your telescope will expand or contract and your focus will change as well. So having a program to refocus every time your temperature drops or your filter changes, or even if your target gets higher in the sky, it's good to make sure that you always have the best images. At number 10, we have the red light headlamp. The red light on the headlamp helps protect our adaptive eyes with its low frequency, making sure that we don't lose our night vision. Also, trust me on this, you don't wanna be that person at a star party or popular national park with a bright white headlamp ruining people's shots. Two honorable mentions for this list that we're gonna quickly go over is one, a planetarium app. It's always nice to take out your phone, point it at the sky, and know where things are. Our personal favorites are Stellarium, Sky Guide, and Sky Safari. And along those lines, the next mention would be a powerful laser pointer. Something like the Radian Laser is super convenient for pointing out constellations, nebulas, and galaxies with your friends. Or you can mount it to your telescope, align it, and use it as a red dot finder to show where your telescope is pointing. As a thanks for sticking around to the end, liking, and subscribing, we want to do something really special for you. So head on down to the description and find the download link to get yourself some free astro data and play around in the spirit of galaxy season. Anyways, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed watching this and learned something fun. If there's any accessories you recommend to the people out there, please leave them in the comments below to help one another learn and grow with different suggestions. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. My name is Mac Murdoch here with OPT and thanks for watching. Clear skies.